Do you know what separates great companies from struggling agencies and companies? Well, it's systems and organization. In this video, I'm gonna show you a tool that's transformed the way that my company interacts with leads and customers by email. This tool has made our life so easy by putting all of our lead and client data in one place so that we never miss a lead or forget something important about a conversation that we had with them. And by the way, this tool can also be used for email marketing right inside of Gmail. So if you're interested in learning how to get better and knowing the hottest and newest tools for email marketing, this is going to blow your mind. And I can honestly say that I've never seen anything like this before. I'm a massive software nerd, so even this video is sponsored by NetHub. They reached out to me to show me this tool, and I was like, holy sh we are using a different tool to do this exact same thing right now, but it doesn't do half of the stuff that your tool does. But before you waste your time watching this video, let me tell you who this is going to help and who should leave right now. So if you use Gmail as your primary company mailbox like we do, then this is going to blow your mind. If your company interacts with sales and leads from that mailbox, then you need to watch this. And if you already have a CRM, that's okay. So do we. What I'm about to show you is supposed to work hand in hand with your CRM. But if you don't have one, this can replace a CRM altogether right inside of Gmail. So what problem did this Gmail CRM solve for us? Let me tell you. Imagine that a lead comes into your pipeline and your appointment setter is emailing them. They're trying to get an appointment set up. So they have a long conversation and finally they book a call with a salesperson. So now your salesperson is emailing them from their Gmail, from your domain, but from a different mailbox. So that person doesn't end up buying, but they do email back three months later when they do want your thing, but you have a different appointment setter working and they get that email instead of the original appointment setter. Now, normally that person is gonna be starting from scratch. They have no idea who that person is, who's talked to them and what the conversations were. So they have a couple choices. They can either hunt down every communication that lead has ever had, or they are gonna start from scratch. And 99% of the time without this in place, they start from scratch and you lose that sale. So if you're using Gmail, this probably sounds familiar to you. Now, if you don't have a system in place for keeping track of all the activities for your leads and your customers, then you're not going to be able to scale efficiently because everyone's gonna be hunting for information all over the place. So this tool I'm about to show you is gonna keep track of every contact and every conversation that they have had with everybody in your company. But not only that, you're gonna be able to create a deal for them in one click or add them into an automated sequence with one click. You can also send out email campaigns to people in your Google contacts with one click all from your Gmail inbox. Well, if it sounds too good to be true, let's take a look at this tool. It's called NetHunt, and I'm gonna show you how powerful this is for yourself in a brief walkthrough. All right, so this is NetHunt, and real quick, I wanna show you the tool that we switched to NetHunt from. So we were using this tool, Missive, and the goal with this tool, and you might have this use case as well. If not now, you will in the future. And that use case is you've got multiple BDRs, multiple appointment setters, all in one primary inbox where all of your leads are coming in. So how do you know who's assigned to what conversation? And how do you get all the data on those conversations? Well, if you want to assign Gmail conversations to somebody and have a shared inbox, you're going to need a third party tool to do that. So one way to do that is a tool like Missive, which is a third party application that syncs with your Google via API and it's kind of dirty. You lose a lot of the native functionality of Gmail. We actually had several problems with Missive because it wasn't a clean two-way integration and we were losing emails. So when I heard about NetHunt, and let me go back to this tool, it totally fixed this problem. We're able to have multiple people in the mailbox assigned to different conversations. We're able to track all of the activities for those people from lead to sale and a lot of other really powerful items that I'm gonna show you in this video. And by the way, guys, if you prospect on LinkedIn, NetHunt Hunt is awesome with LinkedIn as well. You can be hunting down LinkedIn on Sales Navigator and immediately add people into your NetHunt CRM. The NetHunt CRM works as a web version and as an overlaid Gmail application. I'm gonna show you both of those in just a second. So this can replace your CRM. So it does everything that a normal CRM would do. It has deal pipelines. It has automated sequences that you can put people into. So if you don't have a CRM already where you're doing those things, you can use this as a CRM. As you can see, it's got a really nice pipeline integration. It's got good reporting just like a CRM would. And you can put people into sequences so that you can do automatic follow-ups and nurture sequences. Now for us, that's not how we use NetHunt. So I'm going to tell you our use case. So hopefully that will apply to you as well as an agency that already has a CRM. All right. So here's what the web version of NetHunt looks like. 
Uh, so very clean. It's got everything that a normal CRM would have. You've got deals, you've got your contacts, your companies. And as you well know, you've got multiple contacts within a company. Uh, you can look at people by stage and you can set up email campaigns and workflows. So a really basic CRM. It has all the essentials that you're going to need. Now we also use a CRM. My favorite CRM is Go High Level and it works great hand in hand with NetHunt. And the reason is NetHunt integrates so cleanly with Gmail and I use Gmail actively. My leads are coming in there, my customers are contacting me through Gmail, and I wanna know everything about that person right in Gmail without having to go to my CRM every three minutes. So what I did and what we did in our company is we made NetHunt and our CRM talk by uploading our contacts initially and then syncing them using Zapier and their native integrations. So now when something happens in our CRM, NetHunt knows. And when something happens in NetHunt, our CRM knows. And all of that is accessible right in our Gmail mailbox. Now what's beautiful about this is it's going to sync contacts from your Google workspace with your CRM, whatever that is. So as you can see, Google contacts are syncing here. But what I also want to show you is apps and other integrations. So the browser extension for, for Gmail, this is the most powerful feature of this that I'm going to show you. It's what changed our entire way that we deal with leads and with sales. The add-on for Gmail that also works in the mobile app, which is huge. I can't stress that enough. That was a major problem with Missive. We weren't able to do those assigned conversations from the mobile phone, which is where a lot of communication takes place now. And it syncs with LinkedIn, which is absolutely huge. Now, one thing I don't like so much about NetHunt is that it doesn't have clean integrations with most CRMs. So what we were able to do is integrate it using Zapier, which is actually really easy. Now, the reason this isn't so big of an issue is that most contacts will come in through Gmail. Their first contact is going to be through email. So from there, we save them and that directly integrates with our CRM. Now what's cool here too is if you want to use NetHunt's SMTP to send emails, say you're doing an email campaign or setting up a workflow and you don't wanna ruin your primary Gmail, your primary domain, you can actually use NetHunt so you don't even need to use Gmail at all. All right, so let's go into my favorite part about NetHunt and the reason why you need this tool if you're a Gmail user. Let's head into the Gmail mailbox. Does it look like Gmail? You're probably gonna say kinda, right? This is Gmail. It just has this NetHunt Chrome extension that is overlaying all of NetHunt's information on to our Gmail mailbox. So it's all accessible from one place, that Gmail mailbox, without losing any of the normal functionality. So just take a look here on this left-hand column. Up top, you're gonna see all of the NetHunt data points overlaid right over the normal Google ones. So our inbox, our start, our sent, all of our labeled inboxes that are in Gmail. This is Gmail but we've got all of the additional features of NetHunt on this. All right, so let's go into one of our labels that likely has some client information in it. All right, now let's take a look at how powerful this tool actually is. So now I'm in a tab on our mailbox where we've got some client communication going and some lead communication going. So as you can see, it overlays this little icon. So if I wanna add somebody to our contacts, to our CRM, all I have to do is click on this and then I can link that email to a specific contact and it's gonna match them up. So let's go ahead and link email to this contact. I can give that contact information. I can say who's managing that contact so I can assign it to a specific user. If I'm gonna to respond to that conversation, it's suggesting companies that they're with. And then right within here, I can actually trigger automations by saying, okay, this is an active client. This is a lead. This is a lost client. This is a partner. And I can change these contact types and create new ones. And I can segment them and create different automations based on how I categorize them. So I'm gonna go ahead and say active client. And now here under outreach, I can actually choose a different category of outreach. Is this new? Am I contacting? Are they interested or are they dormant? So in this case, I'm gonna go ahead and click interested and create. So in just a couple of clicks, I've now added this person to our CRM and triggered automations right from the Gmail inbox. Now there is no tool that I've worked with before that allows you to do that, but that's not all. Let's take a look at somebody that actually does have some information on them. These are all different contact points with this person. Let's go ahead and open up his contact and it's going to bring up all of the previous conversations that we have had with this user. Any tasks, timeline, showing all events, and you can leave comments and communicate about the information with this user. Because I can't emphasize how important it is to have all of the activities and all of the communications with somebody in one place so you can access it like this. So you don't have to go into your CRM every time you have a new email. This is a total game changer for you guys. Now let's go into workflows directly in Google. So how many times have you had somebody respond, get back to me next month or get back to me in two weeks and you set a reminder somewhere and hopefully by the time that reminder goes off and tells you to go contact them, maybe you reach out to them, maybe you don't. 
Imagine if you could just push a button and add them to a workflow that delayed it two weeks and sent them an email. That is exactly how we use this. So if somebody is unresponsive, we follow up automatically in one month when somebody says to circle back, we can circle back with a click of a button. So you can set up different workflows in here to do all of these new things. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new one with you so you can see how this works. So I'm gonna call this one dormant, try in one month. You can trigger based on a lot of different things here. So I'm gonna trigger this using one of the features that we just set up. So trigger setup, when a field value changes, contact, outreach, specify change. So from new to dormant. So when somebody stops responding, that's going to trigger this automation. We're gonna wait for 30 days and only run it on the weekdays. And now we can send them a follow-up in one month saying whatever we want to reinvigorate their interest and see if they're now interested. Now before you'd have to do this manually, you'd have to set a reminder, then go into Google, find that person, write an email to them, a specific email. Now you can do this with the click of a button. You only have to set this up once. And now your team can utilize it across all of their different mailboxes. But that's not all. There's a lot of other things you can do here. You can send a Slack message, send a Google chat message. You can update a record. Anything an advanced CRM can do, you can do here with the click of a button inside of your Gmail mailbox. So now we activate that workflow and anytime someone changes from new to dormant, they're gonna get that email in 30 days, right inside of your Gmail mailbox. That is incredibly powerful. I cannot overstate that. Now, one thing we typically don't do is send email campaigns, blasts through Gmail. We like to use our CRM for that. But if you wanted to use this to replace your CRM, you can create email campaigns right here inside of NetHunt. So as you can see, we have 43,000 contacts that's been synced with our CRM. But if I only wanted to send this to my new contacts or to my dormant contacts to try and reactivate them, I can create a campaign specifically for them. And instead of getting some promotional newsletter, they're gonna get a normal Gmail, which has a much higher conversion rate. Now, I hope that walkthrough is helpful. Let's talk a little bit about pricing. Is this outrageously expensive? And my answer to you is absolutely not. This is super affordable. Let's go to monthly pricing just so you can see what you're actually going to need. Now, most of what I just showed you is covered under this business plan. This is the most popular plan for a reason. And at 60 bucks a month, that is a super affordable tool. So if you only have two or three team members, that's under $200. So if you're trying to grow a big company, organization, and systems makes the biggest difference and saving people time and efficiency makes the biggest difference. So at this price, in my opinion, it is a no brainer to implement this into your workflow, into your systems, into your operation. Now, with that being said, I want to wrap. I want to say if you're using Gmail and if you have leads coming in and multiple people interacting in a Gmail mailbox and you need to segment that mailbox for individual users to all use that unified mailbox, you're going to need a solution to do that. NetHunt is the best solution. So yes, this video is sponsored by NetHunt, but there is not a single competitor that I have come across that does what this does. Cleanly integrates with Gmail, literally replaces and syncs perfectly with your existing CRM and makes it seamless for you guys to follow up with leads that are dormant. Now, there's a lot that I couldn't go into in this video, but it is a very powerful tool. So I hope you like the spotlight on NetHunt. It is a very unique tool. I don't just promote tools because they pay me. I promote tools because I truly believe in them. And this is a tool that I think is very useful for you and has made a big difference for us. So if you like the spotlight, please give it a thumbs up. If you're interested in using NetHunt, you can use NetHunt free for 14 days. Link is down below. Go test it out. If you're using Google, what's to lose? All you have to do is close one extra deal every year to pay for this tool. Go check it out and please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss other awesome tools like this. You're only as good as the tools that you use. See you in the next one.